guys. It's been that kind of week. I've uh, been in shock the past few days, as much of Philadelphia Eagles Nation is uh, right now because of Carson Wentz. And of course, you know, right after the game and right after they confirmed the injury, I was like, no! It's tough. It's really tough. You know, we go out, we bounce back, we win against the Rams after losing up in Seattle. Uh, we put 45 points up on the board. It was a great game. We're 11 and two. We're the NFC East champs. We won, but it you know it feels like we lost. So I, I'm just confused right now, and it's a bittersweet win. Uh, we lost our quarterback. He's having such an amazing year. I feel bad for the kid. It's a total shame that he's having such a great year, an MVP season, and you know that happens to him, and he goes down. And he's gone for the year. We we need to move forward. We got to keep playing. We've got to we've got to get out there. And uh, Nick Foles has to step up. Next man up. That's the way professional football works. Yes, Carson Wentz was having a great year. Yes, he got us to this point in the season. But the season isn't over. We got to keep playing. We just have to. Eagles Elvis back here. He is totally depressed. He's taking some Dilaudid, some Percodan, and some Quaaludes. You know to help him get through it, but uh, you know, he's not feeling too good about this whole situation. I'm not drinking any Victory Ale this week. Really don't feel like uh, having any Victory Ale. It's uh, it's kind of that kind of week. We won, feels great, but now we gotta move on to the Giants and we gotta win there. Wentz broke the season touchdown mark for the Eagles held by Sonny Jurgensen at 32. Wentz now has 33. And he did it, he did it after he got hurt. Four plays after he got hurt, he made a throw. And that catch, from Jeffrey was at phenomenal. He picked it off the turf. It was behind him and down and low, and he picked it off the turf. What? What kind of a catch? That was an amazing catch. So yeah, it was it was kind of meant to be that he would break the record, but not meant to be that he was going to add to that record. So Wentz did send out a message to all his fans saying he's going to come back stronger than before, and we look forward to it, Carson. We look forward to you getting back out on that field. Here's to you. Be healthy. Be safe. Fight hard. We'll see you back on the field next season. You're a great kid, you are a great athlete, so just keep your head up, keep moving on, because the Carson Wentz show, the Wentz wagon, is still going to roll on. I got my Wentzylvania shirt on today, right here, in honor of Carson Wentz, and uh, you know, he's done a lot for the city of Philadelphia, and we want to see this kid keep going, and he's going to keep going. He's going to keep going, he's going to have an amazing career. This was just one of the... One of the uh, Seasons in which he was going to have a great a great career. This is just the start. Yes, he got hurt. He got injured, but he'll be back. And uh, we can't wait to see him back out on the field. So I got my Wentzylvania shirt on. I got this from my brother-in-law who, as a matter of fact, and you know, I'm going to do a little plug right now. He has a business up in Berlin, New Jersey, in South Jersey. And it's called Vertical Print and Design. And he does these Carson Wentzylvania shirts. You can get them there. He also does shirts for any occasion. He can do them for your sports team. He can do them for your kids team. He can do them for an event that you're having. He can do them for your business. So uh, if you get a chance, it's Vertical Print and Design in Berlin, New Jersey. 419, 419 Commerce Lane, Unit 5, www.verticalpd.com. And their phone number is 856-809-2698. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to put that link and all that information down in the description of the video here. So if you want some t-shirts and you want to order some stuff, go to their uh, website and contact them and they'll fulfill all your t-shirt needs. So Vertical Print and Design, Berlin, New Jersey. All right, so the Eagles offense this weekend, uh, we won 43-35. 43 points, that's amazing. We put up 455 total yards. Carson Wentz, before he got hurt, four touchdowns, one interception. Uh, he threw 23 of 49, uh, 23 of, he was 23 of 41 for 291 yards. And then, well, you know what happened. Uh, when he walked off that field, it was not a good sight. And you could just feel the air come just out of everything, out of that stadium, out of the city of Philadelphia, anywhere an Eagle fan was, you could just feel that, oh no, what just happened. That being said, Nick Foles came in and managed that game, and we won the game. He was 6-10, he threw for 42 yards, and he had a huge, huge third down conversion with Aguilar to seal the game. It was a third and eight, we needed nine, we got nine, he put that ball right on the money, Aguilar made a nice catch and sealed the game for us, and that was it. Nick, moving forward, keep that up. Torrey Smith had his first 100-yard game. Thank you, Torrey. 
Yep, we're looking, we're expecting you down the stretch to do some excellent things. Using your speed to take the top off, we're going to need that. We're going to need you to make some big catches uh, with Nick Foles as the quarterback now. And I, I know, I know that you can do that. Our backup tight ends this weekend did an excellent job. Selleck and Burton both had big days. Burton having the bigger day, but those guys needed to step up because Zach Ertz was out, and that's exactly what they did. They made some big catches. They each, uh, Selleck had a touchdown. Burton had two. Thank you very much. That was amazing. They stepped up. They did their job. I think they're both good quality tight ends. We have three excellent tight ends on our roster. We really do. Selleck's on, you know, you know, it's the end, near the end of his career. We still have good tight ends. And when Ertz comes back, now that gives us three. The running game did well. We had 139 yards on the ground by committee, again. I think with Foles in there, we're gonna to have to rely more on the run game. So you're probably gonna see that number go up, especially against the Giants this week. But I think they're gonna let Foles throw the ball a little bit too against the Giants this week. We gotta get him ready. He's got three games to get ready before the playoffs. The offensive line was eh, questionable on Sunday. It really was. Um, Wentz had to hurry up a lot of times. Uh, he couldn't, he had to get rid of the ball quick. He did a nice job. The defensive side. You know, we, we just weren't good. The first three and a half quarters of the game, defensive side of the ball, we were just giving up chunks of yards, chunks of yards, chunks of yards. The uh, Rams were moving the ball pretty effectively down the field. Uh, we didn't have a 100-yard runner. We stopped him. Uh, 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 Gurley had 90-some yards, but uh, still, he was pretty effective too. We gave up 35 points. That's not great, but that's okay. The defense can have a bad day. And... Uh, you know, they're not going to come out and they're not going to shut people out or, or hold them under 20 every week. They did an excellent job by showing up those last three series. And they did. They shut the Rams down. We, we needed some big plays. They came up with some big plays. We got the fumble. Long had the strip sack. We recovered the fumble. We took it in. We've got three points. We took the lead. And then they had to go to the air. And that's when um, they threw the ball and we got the fumble and... So get into the end zone for the added touchdown at the end. The defense, got to tighten some things up. That's okay. We'll see what happens against the Giants this week. I thought that our linebackers were almost like non-existent. There was one run play. I didn't even see anybody, any linebacker in the frame when the guy got tackled. And that was amazing because there should have been one or two linebackers there and there was no one. And that was kind of consistent throughout the day, day. The linebackers really didn't play well on Sunday. Again, the defensive backs, they made some mistakes. They got burnt. But uh, again, we tighten that up. We get to the quarterback, uh, our front four, and we uh, call some blitzes here and there. Uh, Schwartz will do that occasionally. And if he does it at the right time, I think we'll be set. The next game, we travel to New York, right up 95, to the New York Giants. Uh, they're not having a great season. We know that. Uh, but I do think it is a, a uh, good test. Can we win with Nick Foles? That's the question. That's the question that a lot of people have been asking around the league uh, and fans have been asking. Well, guess what, guys? Yes, we can win with Nick Foles. Let's not forget, Nick Foles has been a starter in this league. He did lead us to the playoffs a few years ago. He had an incredible season that year. He had 27 touchdown passes and two interceptions. He is a good professional quarterback. Okay, he's our backup. Thank God we have him. And he is going to step in. They're not going to have to change the offense that much. And he is going to be able to produce. He knows the game. He knows this system. He'll be fine. We just have to have faith. The other guys still have to step up. Our defense still has to play. Jeffrey still has to make catches. Ertz still make, needs to make plays. Uh, it, it's The running backs still need to gain yards. Nick just needs to manage that and get the ball and not make any big mistakes. And he's that type of quarterback. He doesn't make big mistakes. The key is the offensive line. The offensive line has to keep people off Nick Foles. Foles can't get away like Wentz can. We know that. So... The offensive line is key, and I think they're going to change their protection scheme to get some max protection so they can keep guys off of Foles so he can get the ball downfield to Jeffrey, Aguilar, Torrey Smith, Ertz, whoever he needs to get the ball downfield to. I think we can win with Nick Foles, guys. I predicted it a few years back that Foles was going to lead us to a Super Bowl if he stayed in Philadelphia. And then we had the whole Kelly debacle, and people were flying all over, leaving, coming back. So, And then we went and got Wentz, which is fabulous. But now we have Nick Foles. I think we can still do it, guys. I really do. Have faith in Philadelphia, people. We can win with Nick Foles. It is a shame that we lost Carson Wentz for the season. 
but we still got to move forward, guys. Next man up. And I just want to say to Carson Wentz, because I know Carson watches my show every week. Uh, Carson, get better soon, man. I know you're going to put the work in. I know you're going to do the right things. And yes, God does have a plan for you. Keep working hard. Keep up the faith. You're a good kid. You're a great player. You're going to be a great Philadelphia Eagle for a long time. So we'll see you back out on the field, kid. But for now, you know what that means. Let's go, Nicky. Nick Foley and Dynamite, baby. E-I-G-L-E-S, Eagles. Woo! And don't forget about Berlin Vertical Print and Design in Berlin, New Jersey. E-A-T-L-E-S, Eagles!